I was going to say, it's dark. It's always ready. Yeah, we have to wait. Okay. Yeah, we have to wait. Alright. Till we some, see some people. Do you remember these? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yeah. I remember them. What's it called? Um, a doodle. <laughs> oh, it's a noodle instead of a doodle. It's a pool noodle. Oh, okay. It, 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 we use them for swimming? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And, and then you're taking your, your... And now we use them for crafting. Oh, okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Is Hi. You... <laughs> I can be spontaneous. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. It is Lee and Grandma Jean here at Gnome and Backyard. And if you are watching, oh, hi, Crafty Decorator, how are you? Sherry says hi, Lee and oh, Grandma hi, Jean. Sherry. Sherry is away visiting her son, her youngest son. Oh, how nice. In Michigan. Oh. And his wife is expecting. Wonderful. She's going to be your granny. Uh, she's already a granny. This will be number five. Oh, I know well, she doesn't look it, right? Congratulations. No, she don't. Uh, but okay, just say hi real quick so we can see some comments. Let us know you're here. Give us a little loving. Send us a little heart. <laughs> hi, Gina. How are you? Let's see. Who else do we have here, Grandma? Hi, Brenda Ryder. How are you tonight? Anna, hello. How are you? Oh, Maria Gardner. Hello, lovely ladies. Hello, hello Maria. I hope everybody had a great day. Let's see, Luann Moore says hi, Lee, and hi, Grandma Jean. Hello. Um, Kat is here. Hey, Kat, how are you? Uh, oh, Sherry's working. Even though she's on vacation, she's working on some blog posts. Good oh, girl. Oh, nice. That's my girl. Good oh, girl. Okay. <laughs> Sue Bryce, hello, how are you? And let's see, Sherry Sar, hi, Lee and Grandma Jean. Lynn Santos says hello, and she loves seeing us. Uh, Debbie, hi Debbie, we used to work together. How are you, Debbie? Hope all is well. Hope you and your daughter are still collecting gnomes and still making gnomes. Oh, Debbie, like this is the best season coming up with fall and Halloween and Christmas. So I hope you, you and your daughter are ready oh, to yeah, uh, make heart. some gnomes. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do real quick, the pool noodle, the infamous pool noodle. Um, if any of your Dollar Trees still have them, which some of mine have them, some of them don't, I think you guys should grab a couple because we have a couple different ideas to use the pool noodles going forward in the fall. And what'll happen is it'll be September, October, and you won't be able to get your hands on them. Oh, we got but your hearts. We do have, Somebody I didn't. Somebody likes us. Hello, Darlene. How are you from Savannah, Tennessee? All right. Hello, Melissa. How are you? Melissa Browning and Sandra Wallach. Hello. Um, oh, Kat says she loves us. Kat, we love you too. Uh, let's see. Kathy Zerba. Hello, Kathy. Hot here in California. Oh. Oh, hi, Kat Stone, my friend. So here we, um, well, let's see, made some of the gnomes out of the clips. They turned out so cute. Thanks so much for sharing that was Marlene Colbert. Yeah, those, um, if you didn't see those, they're so cool. We, I just took simple chip clips and we made them into gnomes and because they had a magnet on the back, you could put them on your fridge, you could put them on a memo board. Oh, they I were see them. so, so cute. Love them, they're on my fridge. You'll have to oh, take a peek. Okay. Um, but there is a video, quick, short video on how to do those if you wanna take a, take a peek back. Um, but oh, here, I started to say, we have like an air pollution advisory here because of the uh, the wild, I don't know if it's a wildfire or what kind yeah, of fire. Yeah, they what, are. So we actually, it has been like cloudy all day here and they are actually saying, hello Karen in Winnipeg. They are actually oh. um, giving us a little air pollution warning all the way in Pennsylvania. So let's see, um, Olivia, California in the house. Yes, Olivia, how are you? Uh, butterflies are your favorite. Awesome. Okay, so I real... I butterflies. <laughs> so, I wore my butterflies today. So, okay, real quick. This is just real simple. With your pool, no pool noodle, this is just what I'm going to show you real quick first. Then we're going to get to something a little better. Okay. With your pool noodle and maybe your takeout container. I forget what we had to eat, um, but actually my daughter, might. this might have been hers. Takeout container. You are just going to cut a small piece of your pool noodle. And then you are going to take your straight blade. Excuse me, Grandma Jean. You're just going to take your straight blade and you are going to just run it down the pool noodle so that you can open it up. 
and attach it to the side of your takeout container. Now, I'm not going to tell you what size to cut it because your takeout containers uh, will be, or your bowl, you know, your Dollar Tree bowl uh, will be, hello, Luann from Reading. How are you? Yes, Reading is in the house. Um, and Sheila O'Driscoll, hello. So can't tell you what size to cut this. Just cut it to fit your container. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife and you're just going to cut. You could say, I already did some. You are just going to cut some diagonals in however many you want and just keep cutting it a couple times and then clean it out a little because you are going to use this for when you're crafting to hold oh, how clever cute right to hold oh, your paint brushes to hold your paint brushes oh wow that's neat and guess what you're going to put your water in here oh when you're dipping your paint brushes oh nice so nice. instead of a drawer here, a yeah. little, oh, great. Real, real cool idea, you guys. So I had, um, oh, let's see, Barbara is making the pierogi dish very soon. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. That was a good one. We had that last night for dinner. That yes. was delicious. Um, but this is just a little, a little trick to help you get organized, to help you when you're crafting. Um, maybe some of you have done it already. If not, give it a try. Really, really cute to stay organized. Put your water in here, and you just have your paintbrushes, and you can put them right back. Oh, that's clever. Isn't that cute? Lu Let's see. Louise says, cute idea. Love it. Um, yeah, so really, and Barbara, Barbara Ferrelli uh, says, uh, clever. And let me see. Eve Evelyn, very cute idea. So we already, I showed you how to make a paint uh, organizer with some things from the Dollar Tree. And what else do we do for organization? I don't remember. But anyway, real quick, and this is one thing you can do with the pool noodle. Of course, what we're going to do tonight with our pool noodles is... Are we going swimming? We are not going swimming. And this is not my idea. This, I um, had actually seen one at a craft show when we were on vacation at like an art festival. Let me see. Somebody made the tuna salad today. I think, was that Mary Miller? Uh, my girlfriend Mary Miller made the tuna salad today. Oh, I, ho I hope you liked it. Oh, I hope she did too. Um... Let's see, Cindy pulls in, need to make me one of those. Yeah, right? Real simple and real cheap. So what you're going to do with the rest of your pool noodle, um, again, I started to say not my idea. I had seen one out of state, and then I told everybody, I'm trying to organize, I'm trying to clean up. So I had all of these glasses and cups and mugs, so we're putting them to good use, and I'm sure you have some at home too. Now this one, oh, is, this one is real pretty. This oh. actually... A uh, little tea set, real pretty pattern on it. And it's my, inside also my daughter, the pattern. Yeah, the pattern is inside too, but no, nah, we're going to cover it up. Okay. Uh, my daughter bought this, I think, like for 25 cents at a yard sale. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut our pool noodle. And again, whatever length you want to cut it. So um, hello, Catherine from Iowa. Oh, thank you. Yeah, great idea with that pool noodle organizer. You're going to cut it to whatever length you see fit. This one is about four and a half inches. What I'm going to do, I didn't, you can see I did spray paint part of my pool noodle for the other uh, part of the project, but with this one, what I wanted to do, because this has, you, you can't really see it, there's pretty gold along the edges and along the edge of the cup and along the, um, the saucer, there's some gold. So I just happen to have a roll of this gold a glitter table runner from the Dollar Tree. I mean, I've had it. I don't remember how long I've had it, but it's shiny, it's gold, it's pretty. And all I'm going to do is cover my pool noodle in it because this is going to be the base of our gnome. We're making little... Um, oh, we're making a gnome? We are. We're making some oh, uh, teacup gnomes, mug gnomes. No, no, we don't always make gnomes, Grandma. I know. We don't always make gnomes. But I'm trying, like I said, to clean everything up and... So we're making a gnome tonight. Let's see, Terry Clark, hello from uh, Papillon, Nebraska. Just received my new t-shirt from you with the gnomes on the beach. Love it. Oh, Terry, great. I'm so glad you were, I'm so glad it got to you. Um, usually like three days shipping, that's what we try to do. But I'm glad you love it. That one is really cute. I, I love that one. I do love that one a lot. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna just put my hot glue. I know it's gonna melt the pool noodle a little, but we don't care about that. 
And then we need another glue stick, Grandma. Do you have a glue stick there? Sure. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Let's see, Nancy, hi from Arkansas, Kansas, or, oh, Arkansas City, Kansas. Hello, how are you? And uh, Beverly from Minnesota. Hi, Beverly, how are you? We have a lot of people from out west tonight. I hope, I hope the fires are going to be contained shortly. Another person, let me see, Hel Helen from Arkansas. Hello, Helen. Hi, Dee, how are you? Dee Howard. Okay, so that's all. I just wanted my pool noodle to look not like a pool noodle. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So it's, it's pretty, it's gold, it's shiny. You can use whatever you want. We're gonna use felt in a little while. But um, what we're going to do next is we are going to hot glue and, let me cut a little bit more of this off. We're going to hot glue and we are going to Gorilla Glue the pool noodle to the bottom to the bottom of our saucer okay because this is how our gnome is going to sit now you know your gorilla glue needs to set for a little bit so that's why i'm putting some hot glue so we can go through this a little bit quicker washington state here fires are bad oh darla oh that's too bad we're we're rooting for you out there very very sorry to hear that yes. darla we were in Washington State quite a few years ago uh, when we went on our cruise. Oh, we, right? Yes, yeah, we yes. took we took a cruise um, so to Alaska. Yes, took a cruise to Alaska and um, left out of Seattle, Washington, and it was beautiful there. Um, very, very beautiful, and we did enjoy that cruise. That was a, that was oh, a, a was really nice. nice time. So I'm just going to push this down, and again, it, it's good to let it sit. If you have time to do this piece of the puzzle, walk away and do something else. Um, let's. Oh, Karen! Hi, guys. Couldn't resist, although it's bedtime here in London. Karen, I hope you don't have to get up early for work tomorrow. But thank you for joining on. My girlfriend Karen in London is watching. Oh, for her. But she sakes. said it's bedtime there, so oh, for well, we appreciate you uh, not not going to sleep just yet and, and checking us out. Well, how exciting. Okay, so for this gnome, I just took a piece. This is pink, real pale pink. You guys probably cannot tell that regarding the color, but it's a real pale pink. And we just cut it in somewhat of a triangle. It's flat on the bottom, but you could, because it was a scrap, I'll be honest with you. But if it came to a point, that's fine. And all we are going to do, let's see, what do we want? Oh, okay, we'll have this be the front because I didn't realize garden, yeah. there's a tree and everything. So we'll have this be the front. Oh, okay. So we are just going to hot glue, actually. Haha, <laughs> the cup is going to be his hat. No way. I didn't see this. Oh, Karen has to get her son up for school. Um, get my son up for school. You guys are more important <laughs> than school. Of course. Right? You can't learn this stuff in school. No way. <laughs> they never taught you how to take almost anything and turn it into a gnome. Or how to make cucumber tuna salad. I mean. Okay. So this is actually. The, the teacup is going to be our hat. So before you do glue your beard on. Put your teacup on just to get a, a measurement of where you need your beard to go, how high up. Because if I glued uh, my beard all the way up at the top, it would probably get lost yes. once the hat, yeah. yeah, you can't really see it. So before you glue your hat on, which is going to take, you're going to really have to let this sit overnight so that it stays on. Um, is that is that a good one? Is that worth <laughs> well, is, that worth, is it worth something? And I should be hot gluing it. I think we might be. Well, little, now it's Roy, we, Listen, it's Royal Albert from England. Oh, country scenes. Whoa, this might be a very expensive little gnome we're making. Oh, well, you know what? We started it, so guess what? We started it. We're going to finish it. Uh, we started oh, it. How cute is it? We're going to finish <laughs> it. Um, yeah, I didn't think to. I didn't think to check these on eBay to see if they were <laughs> worth anything. Oh well, 
You know what? You live and you learn. It's all good. <laughs> okay, Karen, let me see. It's been boiling here in the heat. Couldn't um, get to sleep even if you tried. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's been muggy here, too. But they are advising us to stay inside because of the, the weather, um, because of the pollution in the air. Okay, so I just hot glued my little pink beard right on there. And I mean, this, you know, this one is for show, so you want to be careful with them and be delicate. This little guy is for show. Look how cute. You could put them in your little china closet. You could if you wanted. Oh, oh, it's going to be cute. Wanted. So now, good luck. Let's see. We're going to put a lot of glue on this so that the hat stays. And I'm still going to use the hot glue to get it to set initially and the Gorilla Lilla glue. So, any more comments, Grandma? Oh, yes, there's a lot there. I'm just uh, checking them out. Judy Johnson is watching. <laughs> I used to know a Judy Johnson a long time ago. Oh, well, maybe. You never know. Yeah, Let's see. Marilyn, Marilyn Merkley, late seeing you. Marilyn, we just got started. Um, we made a cute little... I just showed everybody how to make a cute little organizer with the pool noodle because we're doing gnome pool noodle pool noodle gnomes tonight. <laughs> say that three times fast. I dare you. Go ahead. What, what am I supposed to say? <clears throat> pool noodle gnome, pool noodle gnome, pool noodle gnome. <laughs> So we just made a cute little organizer, just cut our cut our pool noodle, sliced it, put it on our takeout tray, put some slices in it to hold our uh, brushes, and then you could put your water in here for when you're painting, what have you. Okay, so, oh, look how cute. Oh, cute, cute, cute. I think we're going to take and add a few little flowers up to the top so that we cover that we cover that expensive name, possibly, but you know what? I'm not, I'm not stopping now. That's for darn sure. So we're just going to put one or two little flowers up on the top oh, to finish pretty, them off. Oh, very, very he's pretty. He's cute. The cup is he's adorable. Cute. Yeah, it has a really pretty little country scene on it. Oh, There's, it, it, I don't think I held up the saucer to show them. I'm sorry about that. Um, has a cute little tree on really, it. Really, really pretty. And should we do one more flower, maybe? Yeah. If somebody tells me this, this, <laughs> if somebody tells me that this was worth like fifty thousand dollars, oh, oh well, that's uh, not go that. Well, high. you don't know on eBay, man. Some of this stuff is crazy. But if somebody ever told me that, I'd be ripping these flowers off so fast. As soon as our video was over, Grandma, I would be ripping it all apart. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. But so, guys, the point is that um, you may have some mugs at home that you don't use. And actually, I heard some trivia on the radio the other day, and I should have asked this question before I actually basically just gave you the answer. Royal it, Albert, or is it, she's saying something new about Royal Albert. Worth some bucks if it's older. Oh boy. Okay, well. <laughs> How about it being older with Gorilla Glue and <laughs> and fur on it? How about that? What is the pink mermaid behind you on? The pink... Oh. Oh, I love her. She's one of my favorite. This yes. was just... We did a video. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. We did a video. This was just actually a um, soap dispenser from the Dollar Tree. And it was one of the home decor whale tails from the Dollar Tree and we just we just decked it out and made a cute little standing gnome with it. Um, there's a video for this too. Oh she's one of my favorite. She's, I love her. She's a cutie. She's a cutie pie. Okay so we've got some flowers on the hat. Real cute, real cute. And the best part of the gnome is always the nose. And tonight this is what I'm using. I'm using my one half inch button plugs for my noses from Home Depot, like $3.49. They're in the lumber section. Uh, they were on an end cap in my store. And I like them because they're flat on this side, but then you see how they're rounded and they come out a little bit, and it does. It looks like a cute little, um, cute little button nose. Thunderstorms later for Karen, and someone is still looking for the whale tail. Oh, man. My store now has these really tiny whale tails, 
but they're um, on, I think they're like little ring dishes. So just putting some hot glue on the nose and we're gonna put that little nose right on there and hold it on tight. Rita Marion says, love it, so cute. Thank you, Rita. And Luann Moore says, love it. And I forgot my water and I'm going. <coughs> no, that's okay. Oh, look how cute. Oh, it's always the him. nose that does it, you guys. <coughs> Should I tell you? Always the nose. No, I'll grab one. Hello, Susan. How are you? Look at, is this not the cutest? So, oh, he's so cute. You can get a cup and a saucer anywhere. I started to say, oh, Mary Miller says it's adorable. I started to, oh, look at all the cute little floating hearts we're oh, getting. Oh, we have another royal oh, Well, well I, I know. I'm not going to, I'm not using, I'm not using that one. <laughs> but I am going to show it to my friends from Canada because that's from Canada. Oh, yes, so it I'm is. Not, I'm not going to use that one. Um <clears throat> So cute for the kitchen. Yes, thank you, Sherry. Definitely. Um, okay, the trivia was, what do most uh, what do most people have at least six of in their home that they never bought? So, oh, Sandy says my cup is valued at about fifty dollars. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> Take care of this snow. Oh, look at that! Would you look at that? So, life lesson learned. Um, check on your china that you bought for twenty-five cents at a yard sale to see if it's worth anything before you start hot gluing it. Oh, <laughs> Sherry Decker says, "I just love both of you. Gnomes are all over my house. Oh, we love you too." I uh, love your no mug. So, okay, the answer is, so what What does the average American have at least six of that they never purchased for themselves in their home? And I couldn't figure out the answer. If I did, I would have won concert tickets. Um, I have no idea. A mug. Mugs. Mugs. The average. What do you mean? The average. You have mugs in your kitchen that you didn't buy. You know how people, you get mugs for giveaways. You get mugs when you go to vote because it has the, the politician's name on it. I don't take them. I, I know you don't. But the average person has at least six mugs in their home that they never purchased. I don't. So, you might have because well, you you have a ton of mugs. Right, right. So all I'm saying is, <laughs> Mary Miller, very expensive gnome. Yes, he is. Yes, I'm going to have to get him insured. Um, <laughs> it's killing me you right now. I really, I really want to rip him apart right now before the glue sets and, and see, but that's okay. You're going to have to give him a name. You're going to have to name him. <clears throat> Mr. Moneybags <laughs> or, or Mr. Money Pit. I'm not sure. Um, Marilyn says, I have a bunch, a bunch of the, of the tea sets. Oh yes. Always check first. Okay. Well, it's all good. It's all good. Life lesson learned. But anyway, so you probably have mugs at home or you can get a mug for 49 cents at the Goodwill. This was a beautiful sunflower Goodwill mug that, um, this one I am saving for Christmas. And we're either oh, going to put, huge. I'm not doing it tonight because we don't have time, but we'll either put like a snowman in it or a snowman gnome or whatever. But so keep your eyes peeled right now for some cute little mugs at, um, at the Dollar Tree or the Goodwill or your flea market or your yard sales. Okay, let's make another one, Grandma June. Let's make a cheaper one. How about yeah. that? Let's make... Don't take this one. This I one is another to show Royal you Albert. One? Look at this one, you guys. Look oh, how beautiful this is. That's Royal Albert also. It says Canada Royal Albert Bone China England, our emblems dear. And we have the matching. And this, these were these were fifty cents at a yard sale. My daughter bought them to put her plants in, but then because there was no holes, obviously, um, to think it through. Um, you know, it wasn't good for the plants. But look at how pretty this, and it has the Canadian flag inside. Oh, that's so that's cool. Oh, that's very pretty. Isn't that cool? Okay, put that aside. <laughs> Nobody bump it. Nobody touch it. Okay. All right. This was one of the Dollar Tree mugs I had sitting around. It's um, a lemons. Real cute. Real cute for the summer still lemons. So what I did with this one, I did spray paint my pool noodle because I didn't want the red showing through. 
my um, felt. So I am just, I want to cover it. You could leave it like this white, but it just doesn't look finished. So I just think if we put some felt right around our pool noodle, it'll at least, the back of our gnome, which nobody's hardly going to see, but it'll at least look finished. Uh, let's see, Karen Thompson, that's so cool. Karen, are you from Canada? I see a little Canadian flag. That oh, is really cool. It, yes, it is cool. That's a nice dish, um, a nice cup. So, Grandma Jean, what did you do today? You usually I, share with everybody what you did today. I, I, I didn't do too much. I was outside just nice. puttering around a little bit with the yard. And puttering. Does anybody else say puttering around? That's like, that's And I, I put some uh, dirt in the, the pot and I had to pank it down. Pank it down. That's, no, that's more that's, slang. From that's this. another slang. Pank. Uh, I made rice pudding today. Oh. Uh, I didn't do much. It was very, I don't know, humid or something out. Um, it just uh, bad scissors. Bad didn't scissors. do too much today. Uh, let's see. Inspiring the world with Gnome and Backyard. Thank you so much. And I'm just going to do it this way. You don't have to cover your whole pool noodle because um, you're not going to see what's in the mug. So really, you don't have to cover the whole thing, but I did. Just because. I always tell her, take the easy way out. And, oh, no, no, we have to do it to perfection. <laughs> I would take well, the easy definitely way. not to no, definitely not to perfection, but yes, you do. So now our pool noodle is covered in felt. You can cover it. <laughs> Rita Marion puttering. <laughs> she says puttering too, right? <laughs> Hi, Cassandra. How are you? Um, rice pudding. I'll be right there. Joy, Joy Hammond. Grandma Jean's rice pudding recipe is on our website on her blog post in the kitchen with Grandma Jean. So her rice pudding step-by-step uh, -step instructions and um, obviously uh, ingredients, it's right there on the website. So check that out. And the website would be gnome, well, www.gnomeandbackyard, um, but you have to write out the word and. So uh, Grandma Jean has a blog post on that website. And I think she has five or six recipes up. A few. A few. So again, I just put some hot glue, glue. hot glue and Gorilla, clear Gorilla glue, bonds virtually everything. I put this on with my hot glue. Hi, Betty, how are you? I saved it and also sent it to my daughter, Joy. I say, Puttering around at least five times a day, Ivana. Yes, that's what that's what we say. Puttering, puttering. That's an old time saying. I mean, finally you know. caught alive. Love watching you both. I didn't see who that was. Oh, uh, Lois, Lois Cook. Hello, wonderful. So glad you caught us live. We're making some cute little and expensive. <laughs> I only say that, Lois, because I found out this china could be worth $50 that I just put a cute little Dollar Tree gnome in. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> aren't you glad? Aren't you glad you caught us? Because that's what we're doing here. We're taking expensive china and... <laughs> It's all good. Okay, so with this little guy, I cut a cute little white beard, cut it in a triangle. That'll be fine. And I am just going to hot glue it to the top of my pool noodle. And I want to show you guys a picture in a minute of something else we're going to do with the pool noodles. The live video, watch the whole thing. Okay, so... And guys, I get my fur. Um, I purchase a lot of my fur at Hobby Lobby, Joanne's Fabrics, Walmart, and um, you can it, you can buy it off the bolt, so you can purchase as much as you need. Uh, he's adorable, family heirloom now. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Um, but you can buy it off 
of the bullets so you can buy a, a quarter yard, half yard, buy whatever you need. And for a lot of the gnomes that we do, look at how much fur we use. We use so little fur that even if you bought a quarter yard, you it will go such a long way. I say putzing around too, Angela. Angela oh, yes, Nussbaum, yes, putzing that's... around, yep. Okay, so for this little lemon guy, I had a lemon left over from the Dollar Tree summer stuff, and I actually had one already cut in half. So I'm using it, I'm gonna use it as a hat, but I think what I'm gonna do first is just take some greens and hot glue them to the top. That's gonna be his hat. Oh, that, that's cool. Yeah, well, you use what you have. Yes, you use what and you, you have. use it very well. You use what you have, and let's see. Grandma, why don't you show them this coupon in case, I don't know if they are aware. Coming up on Sunday, July 25th, there is Associate Appreciation Day at the Dollar Tree. Oh! And you get 10% off. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not as good at this. <laughs> Look at the dancing box. You, I keep going the wrong way. That's okay. Um, sit down. That's no. Just why don't you just read to them? It's okay. You get ten percent off your entire purchase, purchase. of ten dollars or more. Okay. So if you didn't see this yet, it is for this coming Sunday. I oh. think you have to have a coupon. I I think I don't know. I've been told you have to have a coupon. So sure. if anybody out there knows whether you really do or not, I think you have to have the coupon. But your um, your store clerk should be giving you one when when you're shopping there this week. So let's see where where did you get where did you get this, Marilyn? If it's the coupon, right at the store. When I was there last night, I actually talked my husband into stopping in with me after we went out for dinner, um, and I bought him a pool noodle for his. Oh, I am not home to use a coupon. Oh no, crafty decorator. Do they not have Dollar Trees in Michigan? They must, right? I don't know. Um, but the store associate gave it to me when we were checking out. So I don't know if it says uh, <coughs> coupon must be present. Um, I, I didn't say that. I don't know. Let me read the fine print. <laughs> you read the fine print. Well, we give this guy a little lemon hat. So... Cute, just some green leaves we had laying around, half of a lemon, and all of you that know me and know me so well, the best part of any gnome is putting the nose on. Oh, someone went for the calendars and they were all out. Oh, uh, the ones that I showed, oh, that's stinky. Oh, so the voucher must be presented at time of purchase. Okay. So this must be your voucher. Yes, that is your voucher. Okay. Um, let's put a few flowers too, don't you think? Oh, oh, uh, look what I've been missing while I've been looking so, at this. So, again, um, 10% off this coming Sunday. Oh, Carolyn Smith got one yesterday. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Uh, this coming Sunday, 10% off at your Dollar Trees for Associate Appreciation Day. And I believe, though, you need to have one of these. So, um... I would stop in, and even if you just buy something for a dollar, is that a real lemon? No, it is a fake, fake lemon from the Dollar Tree. Um, it was with their summer merchandise. They probably don't have any right now, but uh, you don't, and you don't have to use a lemon. I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas. Oh, where's that wooden nose? Let's see. All right, where'd the glue gun go? Let's, let's use the same kind of nose, because I really do like that nose. And I used to buy my wooden noses at, or my wooden buttons at um, Hobby Lobby. And then a follower, and I apologize, I don't remember who it was a couple months ago, told me about Home Depot having these. And these are awesome. You get more, you get 50 in a pack. Come on, 50 in a pack. And they were cheaper, like $3.49. So button, half inch button plugs, they come in other sizes. I use other sizes, but tonight I'm just using uh, these ones right here. Let's see, where are we gonna put his oh, cute Oh, he's gonna ones? look so cute. Maybe right there. Okay, let's see. 
uh, oh, somebody, uh, I was there today and didn't get one. Guy was in a bad mood. Huh. Oh, well, shame on him. Yeah. And I hope that, I, I'll be honest with you, I saw that one on the register, like the counter when I was leaving because I had forgotten to ask for one. And so I, I actually just took it. I mean, and they were there for people. So yeah. I, I took it. So, um, but I would ask, I would ask a hundred percent. I mean, you know what? 10%, even though, you know, you're shopping at the dollar store, 10% is 10%. So guys, can you see him real good? I'll have to post pictures when, um, when I'm done, but isn't he just like the sweetest little thing? And again, real cute, um, in your kitchen, real cute on a tear tray. He probably can't see too good, but he absolutely looks adorable. Real cute, real cute. Okay, grandma, let's see. Should we do one more? Sure. What the heck? Um, Oh, I wanted to show you guys how cool would this be? I got this for uh, 50 cents at the Goodwill. And look at how cute would that be to put a gnome in? It's a little umbrella upside down, but how cute. So when you're out shopping, thrifting, Goodwilling, and you're doing the yard sales, uh, garage sales, look for things like this because this would be, and I, I did show, oh, I'll break it. I did check, you know, this fits and this actually fits real nice. Oh, and for his hat. Like, yeah, like that would be oh. so cute uh, to do a gnome with. I'm not going to do one tonight. Let me see. Uh, I think it was Jack, Jackie says she loves the lemon gnome. Thank you. Oh, she. I pretty. think that was Jackie. The names go by so fast. Look Judy says adorable. But isn't that so? Look for things like this that have a lid to them. Now, Dollar Tree will be getting in. Put the lemon tree back. Okay, okay. Dollar Tree will be getting in pumpkins with lids. I showed them to you guys. I'm oh, looking yeah. for them. I don't know where they are right now. Um, but it's little orange and white pumpkins, and they have the lid that comes off. Get yourself some. Those are really, really cute. And for those... You can even just grab an orange pool noodle um, because it matches perfectly. I will find them in this room before we leave. Uh, okay, let's do one more. Let's do the sunflower one. Okay, I like one sunflowers. One more. We'll do the sunflower one, and then we will let you guys let you guys go off to do whatever it is you are going to do for the rest of the night. What are my thoughts? You can with use this your one, imagination. Grandma? Why? I'm talking to myself. Go ahead. You keep talking. <laughs> no. Just use your imagination and. Uh... If you like lemons or you like sunflowers, I think I and, might. And go with it. Sorry, Graham. I'm just sort of like. Oh, go ahead. Just sort of. I didn't think this one through. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, okay, that we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. Okay, hot glue in the bottom. Once again, my store is all out of pool noodles. Bummer. Oh, that umbrella is fantastic. Win. Yes, it is. Um, I'm going to the Dollar Tree tomorrow, Pat. Go to the Dollar Tree, get some pool noodles. Show the lemon one again, please, says Marilyn. Here, Grandma, show the lemon one. Here we go. Um, I did see pool noodles today somewhere. Isn't but they were they cute? They were $1.99. They weren't a dollar. But well, I did see pool noodles somewhere. Oh, Ocean State Job Lot had pool noodles. I don't know if you have that store near you. Well, maybe towards the end of the season they'll... You know, I wonder if Walmart down. does Walmart have pool noodles? They should, yes, yes, definitely. This is the one that you just made. This one, you think Walmart has pool noodles? Oh, absolutely, they have everything. <laughs> they have everything. You can't find it, you'll find it there. And here's here's the can I hold it? There's the expensive here's one. Here's the expensive one. Yeah. Isn't he cute? He's a royal. Check five below in Walmart. Yes. Okay. Thank you, yes. Crafty Decorator. Check five below. Yeah. And I like. I think Walmart too. So yeah. Okay. I am just actually going to cover up the back of this pool noodle with some Spanish moss since it's like a... You know, it's like a little bit of an outdoor theme. It's the flowers. I'm yeah. going to put Spanish moss. This is why, you guys, you can do whatever you want. You can even just wrap your fur all the way around, which I would have done had I had more fur here. Um, but, you know, you get creative. There is no right or wrong. Oh, definitely. No right or wrong. Get creative. 
So this is going to be the back. That's going to be the back of my guy. And I have a cute little piece of brown. This is my favorite fur that I use for my gnomes. It's really long and it's it's shaded. There's like dark underneath and lighter. This I do get at Hobby Lobby. I love this. This is my favorite, favorite fur. I wonder why gnomes are all ma uh, males. So is that Louise again? Louise, they are, well, they are not all males. I have seen the female gnomes that people do. I just don't like them as much. Um, so... I have never made one, but I think I should step outside of my comfort zone. Oh, Walmart. Let me see. Joyce says Walmart has pool noodles for 97 cents. If anybody, oh, great. If great. anybody is looking, get yourself to Walmart. They have pool noodles for 97 cents. See, I told you they um, have everything. They do. You're right. They do. But I've seen the, the gnomes with braids the female gnomes I've seen usually you know it's a female because they have braids coming down and then the little nose and I think we have to make one of those I never have I just they're not my thing I don't like them as much as like these cute little guys with just the the big bushy beards and then the nose sticking out but I think we'll make one I think we'll eventually make one we all have to step outside of our comfort zone sometimes Supposedly females have pigtails harder to craft. D, yeah, I, I'm sure that would be harder to craft, definitely. But you know what? We can do it. We can do it. We'll figure it out. Maybe, uh, maybe like for Halloween, we could do a witch one. We could do a witchy one with uh, a witch's hat and some pigtails coming down. All right, so we have a beard in the front, cute beard in the front. We've got some Spanish moss in the back. I am going to take this cute little straw hat. Uh, couldn't tell you where I got it from because I've had it a long time. May even had bought it at a yard sale. Um, but you could also use the sink strainers. This used to be silver and it was a sink strainer. I spray painted it. So you could use this as the hat. And if I was technically going to use this as the hat, because you could see through, I would put some more fur like on top of the head so that when you put, which actually, oh, that's cute. That, that's cute. So see the, <laughs> see, see the, okay, so this is really cute. Okay. Um, <laughs> you didn't take that sink strainer out of my sink, did no, you? No, I did not. Oh, okay. I bought the sink strainer from the Dollar Tree. Debbie says, yes, a witchy gnome. Yes, witchy gnome, definitely. Um, you get two in a pack, a bigger one like this, and then a smaller one, and they are silver, and they're with they're hanging on the wall with all of your wooden spoons and all of your your plastic. Um, oh no, Joyce, the power went out and you're afraid your phone is gonna die. Oh Joyce, if it dies in the middle of this, charge it up and check us out tomorrow when your power comes back on. I hope you have a candle or a lantern or something there. But okay, so actually, guys, we could put he has his beard and we could just take this extra little. This is just another little. It was a, another little pre-cut beard I had. Um, and we could just roll it up and we could, <laughs> if we wanted, hot glue it to the top of his head and then hot glue this hat on and you could see his funny hair through the top of the hat. I'm loving that. I think that is so cute and so silly. I love that. Um, Sandy loves making hats out of the sink strainers. Yes, Sandy. Now, my friend Sherry, the crafty decorator, has taken this, the sink strainers and she's taken napkins and I believe she's decoupaged or mod podged the napkins on the sink strainers and you can make any kind of pattern. You can make really, really pretty, um, you know, any kind of hat you wanted. Me, I'm more of a like quick, simple, you know, easy. So for me, grab the spray paint, spray it. I knew you'd be able to see through it, but I was okay with that. Um, but yeah, you could, you could, and you could make little ornaments with them when you put the napkins on them and decoupage them. I believe that post is probably on the Crafty Decorators um, website, so you could check that out. Originally, I was going to use this cute little straw hat. How cute is that? And a sunflower and just 
you know, put a little sunflower on them. Let's see. So I don't know, guys, what should we do? I will take a, a couple. You can make a hippie girl. You can. I love the sink strainer. Gnome is so fun. He is. So let's let me get some uh, thoughts here. What do you guys think? Are we thinking sink strainer so that the hair is sticking out? Or are we thinking the... Um, straw hat. Patricia just got back from camp off the grid. Happy to see you and Grandma Jean. Patricia, so glad you are back on the grid. Hope you enjoyed camp. Hello, Francis from London. How are you? Francis, you're late. You're going to have to go back and uh, watch the replay. We made a couple different gnomes. We made a cool, real simple um, paintbrush holder for when we're doing our crafts. We put our water in there and if this holds our paintbrushes. We were just doing some stuff with pool noodles. I like the hair and sink. Okay, and Debbie likes the sink strainer and Marie says the sink and Kristen, Christina Martin says sink strainer. So Debbie says too cute. Okay, I will go. I'm not saying sink strainer <laughs> too. Uh, Clarine says sink strainer with hair. Let me see. Annette says sunflower with the straw hat. Annette, I'm, I'm liking that. But I might have to go, let's see, the straw goes great with the sunflowers. I know it does. I like the sink strainer. Oh, Sherry likes the sink strainer. Oh, do you still have the post for the graduation gnome? Pat, everything is on my Facebook page. You just literally, when you click on my page and it comes up, if you just scroll backwards, you should find every video um, you should find every video, every live. Um, so yeah, they, they are there. You can type in graduation gnome and see if it pops up. Um, but I think that might have been two months ago. So oh, I don't think I'm going to, I I can't, I can't put either one. I can't make the decision. I don't want to disappoint everybody. There's a sink strainer, Lee. Um, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to disappoint anybody, so I'm not going to do it until we're off camera, and, because I like them both ways, but this was the one way, how, like, too cute is that, oh, we should give them a nose, though, let's at least give them a nose while we're on air, <laughs> let's give them a nose while we're on air, because that is what tops it off, oh, look at all the sunflowers there, and someone else, sink strainer, grandma has great taste, <laughs> I think the straw hat and sunflower go well with cup, but the hair and sink strainer is a great idea. It's too adorable. It's different. Who was that? That was Linda. Linda. Yes, thank you. Make both of them. They could be a girl. Well, you know what? We will. We won't do it now, but we have... I had this... I wanted to show <clears throat> everyone this uh, plate... A saucer and cup set too and the only reason is um it has a cute little country scene on it with the house and i'm loving all the colors oh uh, let's see joy i did make the dog and cat gnome still trying to get the nerve to attempt a standing hippie gnome oh yeah i don't do standing gnomes but i will i will one of these days again coming out of the comfort zone and we will do a standing gnome one of these days but this um cup is so pretty and on the back it says east or west home is best and I just, I thought that was so cute. You can't see it, but, and I'm thinking east or west, gnome is best. Oh, all right. All or right, we could take right. it one step further. East and west, gnome and backyard is best. Oh, I, I like that. Woo! Let's go. So, but I like I, that. You, so I actually, I could do, I could do one with the, the hat for this one with the country. The country theme so <coughs> excuse me that we will cute you east or west me. gnome and backyard is, is the best <laughs> i bet they agree with us i and, bet they agree and she's my mom she has to say no, that i do so. not i do not <laughs> bonnie says yay <laughs> and cat has said cat says yes 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 explanation points i think it's cat her her herine herine i am so sorry i'm so bad with bat bat last names bad with last names okay i'm gonna put a little nose on this guy and let you guys get to the rest of your night oh i have one more thing to show you don't go away don't go away um let's see oh christina martin agrees yes and tracy uh bias agrees oh you guys are the best i'm telling you i'm telling you 
We're putting a nose on him. I'm loving it. Oh my gosh. Make both and the flower um, is girl strainer. Oh, and with the flower is a girl and the strainer is a boy. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. Let's see. Leslie Stewart says the sink strainer. Susan Simpson says, I like that. Deb Howard, love ya. Aww, we love all you guys too. Okay, guys, <laughs> look. Oh, and his hair's a little. What a oh. character. What a character. What is his hair doing? Let's see, I did, oh, it, because I didn't glue it. It's like he has a toupee. <laughs> <laughs> he has a toupee. I just, <clears throat> I'm not committing to, I'm not committing to gluing it on right now. I should, but I'm just not. <laughs> but he has a little tube. Our little guy. Look how funny. <laughs> What a character! Look how funny! He, he don't even need a. He don't. He don't even need he a doesn't. hat. You he know doesn't. You know what? Doesn't need a that hat. would look cool for like a hippie gnome to put oh, a headband around him. Yes, and, yes. But not in a sunflower mug. I'm not going to do that. But, oh. but. I love it. Look at I that! Love it. Yes. Oh my gosh, he yes. looks like a little farmer or something. Uh -huh. And again, guys, the Spanish moss. I know it was like a last-minute decision in the back. I could have actually just put fur all the way around it, and he would have had a lot of a lot of hair. But um. I could have wrapped the pool noodle in felt again, but I wanted to just do something different. And since my Spanish moss was sitting there and I thought it like it looked cool. <laughs> I like it. So, um, he's a character. but he's, look at how cute he is. <sighs> really cute. So I know you guys, oh, Pat, thank you. She loves everything we make. Thank I you. Know, I know I you guys have, have mugs sitting around the house that you are not using. And if not, you're going to get one for 50 cents at the Goodwill. Um, do not, whatever you do though, check your China. If you get any, <laughs> um, a follower told me this could be $50 worth of China right here. Um, so, <laughs> you know, that's all good. It is what it is, but, uh, check, check before you start crafting. Now, the other thing I just wanted to show you regarding needs a jug of moonshine. Yes, I know. And you know what I was thinking? Oh my goodness, she never stops. Did thinking. you guys see these at the Dollar Tree? The little uh well they look like the Are little they mace shakers? No, it's just it's just oh. a it's just a jar. But oh. like how cute is this oh, like for a them. little yeah. a little mason jar, like a little um, Yeah, a little mug. You know, a little mug of uh, moonshine. So I picked this up at the Dollar Tree a little while ago. <laughs> yes, Leslie. <laughs> Funny comment, Leslie. Uh, he looks like a forest man gnome D. He does. Um, I need to make this guy with the with the with the strainer, yeah. Um, oh, the comments are going by so fast. Hello, Lee and Grandma Jean from Anna. Okay, let's see. Where did you get the mermaid tail at? Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. They had them in pink. They had them in gray. They had them in white. This is a real pale pink, and it's just uh, a home decor. It just stands on your, it's just a mermaid tail. It's ceramic, and I just glued it to the top of my um, soap. So polder. Okay, you guys have probably seen these before. So this is not my idea. What is it? Debbie, I just tossed those out. Debbie, what did you toss out? And whatever it is, go get it out of the garbage, girl. Um, this, These are pool noodles. So you probably have seen, oh. you've seen this idea possibly before. Not mine. Um, but what I want to do, so these are all pool noodles. They painted them black. You put the hot glue on them and drip it down to make it look like the wax is melting on the candle. What I thought we would do for Halloween is maybe only have like three candles and then have a gnome sitting with our candles. And you can actually, you, you light them up with the little lights from um, Dollar Tree or if you have the little timer lights. So... Um, so to... get pool noodles. That's the moral of our my story is if you can get any more pool noodles, get some pool noodles. And yeah, that's what these cool Halloween candles are made out of. Pardon, my printer wasn't working good. but So I thought we would stack maybe three candles and then a gnome, a, a witchy gnome, yeah. a Halloween gnome, a ghost gnome in amongst our candles. So that's why you want to grab some pool noodles. Do you have enough pool noodles? I've got a few pool noodles, oh, okay. so we'll be okay. okay. But that is, if you're just joining us, that's what we used as the base for our gnomes. It's a pool noodle, 
Um, that's a pool noodle. So, okay, let's see. I made those. You made the candles last year for Halloween. I've never made them, so we're going to try them. Uh, not my idea. I've, I've seen it for the past couple years, and I just never tried it. But I definitely thought that we could stack a ghost, a ghost no Maryland, yes. Um, we could stack some candles and have a, a gnome with our candles. We'll make ours just a little different. Oh, thank you for sprinkling Lee. I appreciate that. And Lee spells her name just the way I do, L-E-I-G-H. Who, who did you name me after? One of the movie stars that was in uh, Gone with the Wind. Oh, do you remember? I do, do you? Of course, I always remember. <laughs> I wouldn't name you a, a Lee if I didn't remember who it was named after. Vivian Lee. Okay, of Sa course. Sandra just said, and I think it was Sandra Wallach, just said Dollar Tree had black pool noodles for Halloween last year. I hope you're right, girlfriend. I hope they bring them back again this year. That would be so cool. Um, if they don't have black, we'll spray paint them. But I did not notice that last year, maybe because I didn't do this craft. Um, I did not notice that they uh, that they had black pool noodles for Halloween. That's awesome. Awesome. I love that. Uh, let's see. Someone's granddaughter, uh, I missed it, has uh, Everly. Oh, that's pretty. Very pretty. Um uh, okay, let's see. I made some birthday candles with the pool noodles. Yes, Francis. Really cool. I posted a picture, and I don't think it's down here. I made cactuses. I, last year, I did the faux cactus um, for my daughter's 21st birthday celebration because she loves succulents. So um, I did, and I don't think it's here. I did that, and that's really cool. So, yeah, there's so many things you could do with the pool noodles. Um yeah, Marilyn, I never saw the black ones either, so I do hope that they get them in. That would be that would be awesome. So if anybody, first person who sees that they get the black pool noodles in, please notify us here at Noman Backyard, and we'll pass the word around. Okay, Graham, I think we are going to call it a night for tonight. Don't forget that the 10% off sale is coming up this Sunday at the Dollar Tree. 10% uh, off your entire purchase of $10 or more, which I'm sure many of us spend much, much more. <laughs> uh, Pat said, can you spray paint the pool noodles? You can spray paint them. Um, and then you just have to be careful that you don't abuse it too much because it will, like, it will rub off. You probably could, um, you probably could seal it. And maybe if you put the sealer on it, it would stay. Um, one of our followers, I think it was Leslie, just made a wagon wheel with the pool noodles. How cool is that? So, yeah, we'll keep our fingers crossed for the black pool noodles. If you see an orange one, though, grab an orange one. Because first we could do a pumpkin. Second we could do gnome pumpkins. I have an idea for that with the orange ones. And we wouldn't even have to paint them or anything like that. Annette says, have a good evening, Grandma Jean and Lee. Thank you. Oh, it will be busy on Sunday. Yes, I'm sure the Dollar Tree will be busy on Sunday. <laughs> Nancy, you have a good night too, sweet dreams. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll have to see what's in store next for us here at Noman Backyard. Oh, chalk paint is real good. Okay, yeah, I love chalk paint. Good night, Dee. Thank you for watching. Hope everybody has a fabulous evening. Uh, hope you all stay safe and cool. And Carolyn, good night. Thank you for watching. Oh, good night, Deb. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, we will see you. Nighty night, Marilyn. Merkley, thank you, Marilyn. Have a great night, ladies, from Clarine. All right, everybody, we will see you. Good night, Francis. We will see you real, real soon. Bye, Leslie. Hey, hey, where are you going? Oh. I didn't say have my say. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> okay. Oh, I mean, really? <laughs> Huh. What's on your mind? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's on my mind is I would like to also say thank you for watching. We appreciate to have you with us every evening. Don't forget to sprinkle. And don't forget to sprinkle a little kindness along the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Grandma Jean.
Pat said, Grandma Jean's got to talk. Let her talk. <laughs> you know, <that's, laughs> you said it. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to keep anybody longer than they needed well, wait, to be. Well, that didn't take too long. Oh, thank you for all the hearts, you guys. We love it. Thank you so much. I love seeing those floating hearts. Let Grandma Jean talk, says Kat. Okay. <laughs> she talks all day, you guys. All day. So sometimes. Yes, but I like to talk to my people out there. I love watching their comments and, and putting my glasses on and reading them. So I want to thank them. Enjoy your evening too, Gina. Thank you so much. And you too, Diana and Diane McCormick. Thank you. Oh, love your ideas. Oh, thank you, Sandra. All right, now can I push the button? Yes, you can. All right, everybody have a great evening. Uh, Kat says, we love Grandma Jean. We all do. <laughs> okay, thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Night and night.